Welcome to the Easy Promo 3D 5 Minute Challenge. I'm going to show you how a person with little or no artwork skills can create great looking virtual samples in 3D and email them to a client in under 5 minutes. So let's first start by assuming that they're a new client and you don't have a logo. So I would use something like Google Images Search to find one. So let me look for a well known brand, I'm going to try Sony. And we can see we've got lots of different options here for the Sony logo. So let's just right click on one of these options. Um, save image as on our computer. And I'm just calling that Sony. And that's now saved onto your computer. So I can flick back into my Easy Promo 3D. And we're going to create some virtual samples for a couple of products. So let's start with a pen. So we can see here on the right hand side, these are the images that I've previously uploaded, etc. So let me just browse here to find the Sony image that I have just uploaded to my computer and upload that to Easy Promo 3D. So there we are over there. So if I just click on that there and click the little upload button. And as if by magic, it appears in the list on the right hand side there. And as I click that logo, it applies that logo to the pen. Now, if I want to rescale that logo on the pen, I can. And it will only rescale it within the acceptable print area. And equally, if I want to change the proportions of the logo, I can do so within the print area. So I'm able to change that quite effectively. I can also then perhaps want, if I want to, change the colour on the pen. So something maybe more in keeping with the logo, or we could change it to maybe a blue. So I've got all the options that I need on the virtual sample there. And you can see, I don't know, you've still got a white background on the Sony. So if we click there, click OK, we can actually remove the white background. So it processes the image and removes the white background. Now what's great about that, if we then decide we want to save that as a Sony pen, let's click save, we can add a category for that. So we could call this Sony, save, it's created a category now for Sony and that will then be available in my drop down list here. So I could save all my samples in my drop down list, so let's just call this the Sony pen. Hit save, and that pen is now saved. So if I now go and find another product, uh, let's look for maybe the Cambridge mug, a well-known mug in the promotional products industry. Hit search, and it finds the Cambridge mug. Now what's great about this is it then actually applies the logo to the product that we've just been working on. So let's maybe change that to a, a kind of white color. And if we wanted to at this stage, we could add text as well. So let's just say that's all that people want. The good news is as well, uh, at the moment, I've got the 3D logo on the back. YouTube, one I did earlier. So I could just say copy to back. And the Sony logo now is copied to the back as well. So let's now save my Sony mug. So again, we'll go on to here and we will just drop down our list. An oversensitive mouse there doesn't help me in a five minute challenge let me just click on Sony and call it the Sony mug so you can see now I've saved two products in the Sony folder okay and then to send those products off I simply go on to sample manager and find that drop down category I've created so that should be in there under S for Sony or I could search for them by hand on there now let's just say I want to put social media icons, I want them auto-rotating, so I change my settings, click pen, click mug, they've applied them on there, and then basically andrew at bnetcentric.co.uk and send. I have now sent my customer those virtual samples. And just to give you an idea of what they look like when they arrive, and we've achieved all of that in under our five minutes, if we click there now, this is what the virtual sample is delivered to the customer at. 
So I hope you've enjoyed the five minute challenge and enjoy creating samples for yourself.